Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Unit Lost. I am Stylosa and I'm on the PTR looking at the brand new Mercy. What I'm doing, as you can see me in the background here, is loading into a custom game with some very easy bots. This is because I'm going to show you in this game just what Mercy is capable of now. This is a absolutely phenomenal redesign of this hero. This is mental. Like, I mean, I say holy hell quite a lot. Holy hell really does apply to this. Um, so, oh my god, look at this, right? What we've got here is... You, I mean, a staff is still the same. A blaster is pretty much the same. Valkyrie or ultimate... Well, now she can fly, and it enhances all of her abilities, but we'll, I'll explain what abilities it enhances and, and how it currently affects Mercy. Guardian Angel's still the same. Resurrect, well, this is now the E ability, and it's on a 30-second cooldown, and you can res people straight away at the start of the game, but one target. Um, but it's got some very funky properties, and um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, let me explain what, what's going on here with uh, Valkyrie, which is her ultimate. So when she uses this, she gets a whole host of effects on all of her abilities. So it makes the beam range longer on her staff for both types, damage and healing. It also makes her fly. And when I say make her fly, I mean it actually makes her fly for quite a long time. She can fly around as, almost as if she's the spectator camera. So if any of you guys have tried the spectator tool, uh, well, well yeah, you tried the spectator tool or loaded into a custom game as a spectator or whatever, um, you can just fly around as a camera. That's what she does. It's exactly the same as that. It's ridiculous. And it's also got a pretty funny bug, which you'll see in this video, which, which is kind of funny. Um, it also makes you fire faster with your weapon, which means if you get nano boosted, you do an absolute ton of damage. However, this is already being looked at because Jeff Goodman on the official forums already, even though this patch literally dropped a few hours ago, uh, has said, yeah, we're going to be looking at something with the weapon because she's doing a bit too much work with the weapon. But like Jeff in the announcement video was like, oh yeah, um, this is Jeff uh, Kaplan. There's too many Jeffs. Um, he was like, well, in the developer update, he said, uh, yeah, Battle Mercy is kind of a viable option, but it, <laughs> it, it kind of is, but we'll have to see where that goes. So why are these changes here? What the hell is going on? Um, he, there's a lot of things with Mercy, and the main issue is they wanted to get rid of this um, idea of Mercy going, um, guys, go and die together. Guys, die on the payload. They don't want to support saying going die, because that's kind of counterintuitive to what a support should be doing. A support should be keeping you alive, not killing everyone. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Or asking people to die so they can res them. And also, it was very hard to counter the Mercy res, because Mercy could hide in a lot of situations. Yeah, sure, your DPS should be able to go and find her and kill her, but she could be hiding in a lot of situations. Anyway, look at this. This is the new ultimate. You can see me flying around. Look at what is happening to the beam. This is absolutely massive. This is crazy. Also, you notice a little bug there where I got put to sleep and I could fly around. That's the... <laughs> like that, that is a bug and it'll get fixed. But look at the beam. The beam is pretty much hitting everybody in the team. It's hitting the entire team there. It's cascading out onto all of them. Both types of the beam do this. This is, this is crazy because this means now her ultimate... Like, people were asking me, actually, quite recently um, on one of my Gamescom streams. Oh, Stai, are there any idea, any um, um, things coming up for, like, other heroes, ultimates that do different stuff? Well, you've got one right here now. This Mercy Ultimate does two different things. And what makes it so powerful is, number one, imagine if you've got Soldier popping his attack visor. Mercy pops her, guard, uh, her Valkyrie, flies out of range of the attack visor while firing the healing beam into her team, which is spreading out to them, provided they're close enough together. That's going to stop the attack visor from killing anybody, even if it's, it that just counters it. Maybe Genji comes through with his blade, but still Genji will be able to slash you and kill you through the heals per second uh, that Mercy does um, on the single target. But still, that is powerful. But then you could decide to just go, oh, actually, I'm a flying Orisa ultimate, and I'm just going to give you damage boost. I mean, look at this here. This is totally ridiculous. Look, I'm, I'm damage boosting the team there now. I mean, obviously, the reason why I'm using uh, the AI here is because the... PTR is quite unstable at the moment, but this actually does highlight the way she works or the mechanics work. So this is something which is going to get fixed, right? So I've been nano boosted. Look at the weapon. Look at the weapon. Look at the speed of the weapon. Look at the damage this weapon is doing. Mercy is like an absolute monster. You can legitimately play her. I mean, I've played her in um, quick play games before they all fail because what seems to be happening with the PTR right now, you can play in games and then they'll just crash and it seems a bit, a bit iffy and all over the place. But you can literally run around as Mercy just killing people. And that generates your ultimate pretty quick. And then you can just Guardian Angel, then kill people even quicker. Or then heal your team if they need it. She's like a radically different hero. It is insane. But I guess this does pose a a, a more sort of um, deeper question, let's say. They're going down this path now of radical hero changes. We look at Mercy. We look at D.Va. She's been changed. We'll look at D.Va in another video. And then we look at Roadhog. These are heroes that have been quite radically changed in their playstyle. So a Mercy player right now, and I know she is literally the most popular hero in the entire game, 
this hero is completely different. Like, you can't just hide and wait for the res. But let's talk about the res, because the res is, the res is so good. Like, it's obviously not as powerful, and I'm like holding uh, air quotes up here, as powerful as the old res. But in a lot of ways, it's kind of more powerful. So an interesting thing happens in Overwatch. If you get picked at the start of a fight, your team has got like a 70 or 80%, very high percent chance of losing that fight. Basically, if it's a 5v6, you're going to lose. What Mercy can do now is counter that. If you die straight away in a fight, she can res you. And you'll notice here, you notice the Anna icon there? You can see who is dead. This is another massive change for Mercy. Because before, you were just like, oh, there's a lot of skulls around me. I'm not really sure who that is. You know, maybe that could be somebody with an ultimate. You know, maybe soldiers shouting, going, oh, God, Tag Visor. But you don't know he's got Tag Visor because you don't know where his body is. And there's a couple of bodies by you. And you res, but he was maybe out of range. Now you'll know where he is and you can res him. But you can res every 30 seconds. And when you pop your Valkyrie, you can res every 10 seconds. And the other thing with the res, and this is absolutely massive, is you can res pop Valkyrie that refreshes res and then you can res again and then in 10 seconds you can res again so what this means is you've got three reses that you can use there within like a 10 second period uh, of time but you can definitely do two pretty much instantly provided you've got your ultimate um, that means you can bring somebody back in a like basically this is awesome this is so awesome to me I know there's going to be a lot of controversy about these changes and we can talk about that in the second part of this video as we watch the attack phase um, and just get to see a bit more of how this mercy is kind of working but she is now like gone from this hero that was i don't want to use the word simplistic but had a very straightforward playstyle that you just healed your team you damage boosted your team you waited for your team to die you res your team that's kind of all mercy did now it's like um who do i res because i can res people because that's my e ability i never had any e ability before but now i can choose to res somebody every 30 seconds if somebody dies at the start of a fight i can res them this opens up a lot of crazy tactics this means you could like do mental rushes or do like, like do, do do crazy stuff knowing that you can just go oh it's okay i can res i can bring you back like uh, a lot of the time you don't want to die first on defense right on any of the the, the map types where def where you it's defense versus attack if you die as the defender straight away like you get picked that's probably it you're going to lose that point but now you could be a bit more cheeky. Now you could take a more crazy position because you know Mercy could potentially res you. Yeah, sure, if she's resing you behind enemy lines and she's out of position and she might die. But that's an option that was never there before. That is, that's crazy. Like That is just absolutely mental. Like, I can't stress how crazy that is. It is just ridiculously crazy. Like, <laughs> I want you guys who are Mercy mains in the comments below to let me know about this and let me know what you think because, like I said a little bit earlier on, the fact that this is a radical change to the hero is just slightly it's not baffling to me because i think it's really good but this is coming from me as a player that kind of wants a more like it's very hard to explain it's like a more interesting hero to play than mercy was that's why i've really never played mercy before i know there's a lot of you guys out there that play mercy and mercy is a good i mean she was still a good hero she had a lot of good uses mercy did especially things like pharmacy combos and even just her old res was good for certain types of tactics and stuff like, she was a good hero but now she's a completely different hero and when this mercy goes live i think there's going to be a lot of people being shocked a lot of people that maybe don't realize that mercy's being changed they'll log in for the first time because you know overwatch has got 35 million players and yeah sure a lot of people watch youtube videos and yeah sure a lot of people will play ptr but they won't actually be the majority of the audience so they'll log in one day and they'll be like oh what the hell is going on the question is will they be able to play mercy i want you guys to be honest in the comments below and let me know what you think about this anyway let's just look at what's going on here so again i'm just sort of standing around with the bots you notice what i did straight away i just heal bang straight in and heal uh res sorry straight in and pop the res and bring zarya back now in the past, if this was actually a proper game, I mean, I know this is not a proper game, but if that was, and we lost that Zarya, our attack phase is probably over. Then the rest of our team is slowly going to get killed. We're all going to get staggered. It's going to cost us a lot of time. But actually, Mercy can just res you straight away, so you're back in the fight. There's no messing around. That is that is so powerful. Like, this is the most powerful ability she's got, like, if you ignore the uh, ultimate, because the ultimate is... Uh, a very interesting ultimate i mean it's a very fluffy ultimate and it's an ultimate that fits mercy because she's got wings and she can fly around it's like she activates her wings which makes sense i mean i'm doing it now i've activated the wings and i'm just sort of firing up my own team because it's late night in germany i've lost my mind but like i'm like oh look at this look at, look at look i can't believe this like, i'm literally looking at this and i'm like this is so ridiculous like these beams are just spreading out to everybody i think it doesn't appear to have a limit that you need to be kind of close but mercy's very hard to hit anyway like when she's guardian angel flying around i know this i've played enough soldier enough hit scan or whatever to try and kill mercy as she's moving around the fact she can fly and fly at that speed for that duration as well is crazy so what do i think is going to happen to her right i think they're probably going to look at 
maybe toning down the amount of time she's in Valkyrie because it seems a bit crazy right now. They're obviously going to look at the pistol issue because she's using it to charge her ultimate really quickly. Um, but beyond that, I don't know. I think this is a pretty solid change. And also, that's a nice little score screen change there for competitive. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments. But this is radical. This is abs This could be huge for the game. This, this is just crazy. And now I'm going to go and take a look at D.Va, guys. So keep tuned to the channel for that video. And... <laughs> Well, it's Bastion. well, mind you, Bastion's an easy AI, but of course he's just going to die, isn't he, ladies and gentlemen? Anyway, I'll catch you on the next one, guys. I've been Stylos, so this is Unit Lost. Follow me on Twitter, which is at Unit Lost Gaming. Toodaloo.